What's going on, Anthony Grillo? These Lutz. Yet another beautiful color grading video brought to you by These Lutz and James Miller's LUT package, part of the new LUT pack that uh, I will link to below. And you guys feel free to check that out. But today I'm going to show you something a little bit different, a little bit out of the ordinary from the previous 30 plus videos. So let's get Kraken, and I'll explain to you briefly now what the camera situation is, Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera. This would be the Sigma 18-35 to 1.8, the gem of a lens, a beautiful gem, and a good price point at $7.99. So let's show you how it comes in. These two clips will come in individually. It'll say clip at the top right. But we're going to work on them together because that's awesome to do. So let's click timeline. There are no serial nodes here. So let's create one. We'll hit add node, add serial node. And just like that, we've created our first node. What we're going to do now is change our aspect ratio to 2.35. And just like that, we have a nice cinematic feel to the image. This was a gorgeous, gorgeous green Mustang. Uh, so love these old classic vehicles uh, what we're gonna do now is something i haven't shown you guys before it's basically a quick and dirty downright dirty way to do the bleach bypass look and by doing that we're gonna go to nodes and add a layer node so here we click add layer node here and see what that did it created the layer mixer node here and the the uh, serial node number three so what you want to do on serial node number three here is you can go into your your saturation primary wheels and just take out all your saturation. See that? All the saturation is now gone. We are down to zero in your saturation. You can also do that also in your primaries with your bars if you like. So there's no set standard on how to do that. Go into your layer mixer node now. Right click on that puppy. Go to composite mode and just click overlay. And just like that, we've created the bleach bypass look to start. This is just how we begin a bleach bypass look. And you can do your Alt, go into serial node number one, you can do your Alt D, and get a quick little before and a quick little after uh, of what exactly what I'm talking about with the uh, bleach bypass look. So that's before, this was not shot in raw, this was just, you know, uh, ProRes HQ. Uh, out of the Black Magic 13 stop dynamic range, awesome little camera for again a decent price point. If you can get lucky and get it for $4.99 when it does go back on sale, hopefully it will. So, with that said, and this node created, let's shrink it down and get to our grading. So, let's click on Layer Mixer, let's click on Alt S creating another serial node. Let's drag this out. I mean, you guys could generally just stop right here if you want and just uh, grade from there. But what fun would that be? Why would you even watch this video? Let's right click. Let's find a 3D LUT that from James Miller's new LUT collection called Temple. I heard a Temple of the Dog song the other day. So we're going to roll with some, we're going to roll down till we find Temple and we'll click on that. And you're going to say, Anthony, Anthony, that doesn't look good. And I'm going to say, I, I agree with you. But what you can do is go into your key tool and go over your gain and pull this down till you find a spot that you like. And we'll just stop right about there. You can see the difference when I, when I brought the gain down from 100% and bring it back up. His, sometimes, depending on your image, the, the LUT right out of the box is going to be far too much to you. So let's... Let's go back into our 70, up to about 70, 75, 75%. And we'll, we'll call it a day right there. So that's what we're going to do on uh, serial node number four. Go back to your layer mixer node, click Alt S or go into nodes and hit add serial node. And this is going to drag it. You're just going to drag this over. We're going to sharpen. We're going to sharpen up from here. So let's go into sharpen. And bring it down to say, I don't know, 45, 44-ish. Perfect. Let's go into our layer mixer node. Alt S on your Mac to create a new serial node. Uh, we're gonna what we're gonna do here is gonna do our curves. So we'll make our canvas a little bit larger. Let's make sure they are on gang that they are. And here we're going to make our canvas a little bit bigger. We're gonna bring it down till we find something that we like, maybe right about there. 
See how nice that is now? So now this is where it gets really customizable. This comes down to you guys, what you want to do with it. You can always feel free to stop right here. You can drag your blue down and start to introduce a little bit of yellow tonality to it right there. You see that slight difference? I mean, that, that was difference was ever oh so slight, but it's there. So this is, you know, something that you can bring into your image, call it a day right there. So because now what we have is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful change in our imagery. Um, I'll make it large for you guys by hitting Command F, and that's what we have. I mean, the Black Magic is if you're looking for a specific non-video type look, will deliver, and it delivers a home run time after time. Every time I bring it up, so let's do an Alt D from here, and uh, you know it's pretty plain, pretty boring. We've graded it out with a couple simple. Simple, easy, smooth steps, and it really does a nice, nice, nice job. Let me show you the second clip, and then I can get you guys out of here and on the road to color grading more of your clips. So let's make this big. So this is the uh, rear of the uh, Mustang, and it is actually playing out. I've heard, I know you've heard me say that 101 times, so I will stop right here, and I will show you guys one last time. A simple little before and a simple after so you guys can see what we're talking about. We're on it. You go into timeline here and make it large. Yeah, hey, give me a super size. So all D on your Mac. And that is the before we added the uh, bleach bypass look and our LUTs and made a couple quick corrections. And it gives us a beautiful, nice image in my opinion. But feel free to use these tips as you will. Uh, there are no set standards in my color grading tips in the world that I live in. So you guys can do whatever you like. These are just helpful guidelines and showing you what is capable uh, from using James Miller's LUTs. I love them and I hope you do as well. All right, guys, thank you so, so very much for subscribing and watching these videos. I hope you get something out of them. If there's something I can do for you, show you uh, anything like that, please ask and I will do my best, whether it's in regards to the equipment that I use, uh, Da Vinci itself, or these James Miller Sluts. Thank you so much for watching. I am Anthony Grillo, and this is D Sluts, and I'll see everybody next time. Bye-bye.